Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do painting tutorials, though today we will do an art supply comparison. I get asked what exactly is the difference between my Mondelus watercolor pencil set and the Faber-Castell and why I tend to use my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils more often than I use my Mondelus ones by Kohinoor. So today I'm going to do a little study chart, I'm going to uh, apply them in various techniques for watercolor pencils and show you what is the difference. I find this is much easier than just talking about it and this way even uh, beginners will understand the differences a bit better. So here I've taken two very similar shades, they are a reddish brown and a Venetian red respectively and you can see that the Mondelus by Kohinoor applies very similar to crayons or oil pastels and in the dry state the Faber Castell Albert Durer looks already much much smoother. I want to give these brands a very fair go so I'm going to activate them with a normal wooden handle brush instead of a special uh, type of watercolor reservoir brush. And you can see that the Mondelus are still looking a bit chunky, they do not fully dissolve, their formula has a bit less binder, a bit less gum arabic in my opinion, which is what gives the smoother, creamier look compared to the Faber Castell. That's just my opinion, I don't know what specifically goes into these pencils, but the Kohinoor Mondelus do appear to be a bit more chalky and they have something that does not fully blend out. As with my next test using these earthy greens, I'm going to try and see just how fully do they dissolve with water and how smooth can we get. I can give you a little spoiler that it's going to look very similar. The uh, Kohinoor Mondelus dry very very fast and you can see some of the brush strokes left over which gives in that additional chalkiness. You can still see a lot of the brush strokes and the pencil strokes, the pencil marks left behind because like I said they dry very fast. I'm going to show you a very in-depth close up and actually scan this whole page and link it down below so you can download it and check it out and zoom in all you want. But I am going to show you just in a bit what I really mean when I say uh, one is smoother and creamier and the other one is a lot chunky, that is the best term I know how to describe it. For my next blending test I'm going to do a very simple gradient with yellow, orange and red. You know I used to do that a lot for my early pencil tutorials because it is a very very simple technique and it gives us very nice cards and results and it's just a very easy way to make cards or make easy sceneries. I do the absolute same steps for the other side with my fabric castell ones, just applying uh, similar shades of the yellow and the orange and the red. And as I blend this you can see that once again the Mondelus does leave behind the pencil marks and the brush strokes while the Faber-Castell dry much smoother. Back when I used to use the Mondelus, uh, when they were the only brand I owned, I found a way around this to use a special reservoir brush which gives you more water and since it's synthetic it moves the pigment around a bit better with a lot of water and stiff brushes, you can move it around and get a smoother finish. Keep in mind though this is still a synthetic brush. While my lower uh, tests dry, I'm going to quickly do a little scenery of a nature landscape with a tree. With uh, both sets I have the same exact the same exact pencil sketch laid out and I'm just going to color each side accordingly with whichever uh, tones look the closest. Activate them and see the result we get. So I do a light blue for the sky on both sides and I'm going to activate that with my brush. I'm not going to work into layers like I usually do with my pencils for this because I know is that with the Mondelus you cannot layer them if there is one layer of color set and you've activated it and it has dried and you go for a second layer, you're going to pick up and erase the previous one. So they do not 
not really layer uh, smoothly onto each other. They are very vibrant and you can achieve good results with applying everything in one layer like I'm doing right now or working in bits like do the sky first, then do the grass, then do the tree. But you cannot add multiple and multiple layers on top of each other to create further depth and go for a bit more realistic look. It's a bit tricky to work with them, whereas the fabric is still, I can do three, four, five layers, as many as I have patience for. So for the grass, I'm just doing a grassy green, I'm adding some yellows and oranges for highlights, and then I'm going to take some of the dark blues and add shadows with those. Basically a very simple sketch, nothing out of the ordinary. And I'm not going to go too much in depth here for uh, the actual tree painting. I am going to do a dedicated tutorial uh, for the sketch exclusively for Patreon. It should be uploaded in the upcoming uh, week. But yeah, I do exclusive posts available on my Patreon. And speaking of it, like I said, this uh, full sheet, this study page will be uploaded for free that you can download and see without being subscribed to my page. And also I have swatched out both sets of the pencil and I've written down their names, their characteristics, their light fastness ratings, everything that uh, comes from the manufacturer. I've written it down and I have uploaded both the cards for both brands for free to my page. There will be links down below in the description box, along with Amazon links to both of the sets. Now, as I blend, you can see that the Mondelus tend to stay put. They do not bleed into the puddle of water you create. The dark blue did not really bleed into the green, whereas the fabric is still tend to flow a lot better. They flow almost like watercolors and you get a very nice soft yet vibrant effect. They have a bit more pigmentation in my opinion. Still, the Mondelos are very saturated but the fabric is still tend to have a bit more. These are both the 24 pencil sets and you can see that the pre-selected pencils from the Kohinoor set, at least to me, they look a bit more cartoony, like you would use them for urban sketching or cartoon or characters or something of the sorts, whereas the uh, fabric still are more intended towards landscapes and uh, nature paintings from the selection of pencils that we get. You can see that in the fabric still there are no pinks, no purples, no aquas, no uh, neon-like colors, which we do get from the Mondelus set. However, uh, this is a very big parenthesis I need to open. The Mondelus have this basic 24 set which is what I bought and it's perfect if you don't have much of experience, if you don't know what you like to paint, if you don't really have a style and you're just learning as you go. You have pretty much everything basic you need to start with. But if you're a bit more experienced, they make a special 24 set for portraits. They have a 24 set for uh, landscapes. They have a set for sepia tones, earth tones, graphite, gray tones. They have selected sets for specific art styles, which is something I have not seen another art brand do. And also, Another very special thing of the Mondelus that I have not seen, again, any other art brand do, they may be some, but I have not encounter, encountered them, is uh, the set I have is the cardboard box. They make a cheap set with the same exact product in a paper cardboard box and sell it for half the price. Again, it's the same exact product. And then they make a premium, I would say almost a gift set that comes in a metal tin, just like the uh, Fabric Castell one, which is priced a bit more expensive because obviously metal costs more than cardboard. That being said, this is how I managed to get my set, you see on the left, for 10 or 11 euros. It was 10 slash some cents. I'm going to link you a screenshot here. And this is very diffused across Europe and I'd say Eastern Europe, which is where they are manufactured. The main headquarters is in Czech Republic, but they manufacture them across other Eastern European countries as well. I believe the closest facility is about an hour and a half drive away from my house. And that's also why uh, these pencils, the Kohinoor Mondelus, are so affordable. 
in uh, Eastern Europe. I thought maybe I had an old batch because on Amazon they cost a pretty penny. I believe they cost about $24 on Amazon and I got them for 10 euros. So I scanned other art stores in other European countries, uh, specifically Poland and Italy, and they cost between 9 and 11 euros there as well. So if you're from Europe, especially Eastern Europe, you can find these very, very affordably, whereas the fabric is still back, I don't know, three years ago, I bought it as a Christmas gift to myself and I paid it about 3 euros. But there is a very significant price difference, it's almost 1 to 3. So keeping that in mind and the final results of how they compare, I'd say if, again, you live in Eastern Europe, if you can find them affordable, you cannot really, you can, you cannot really make a mistake with a 10 euro worth of a pencil set considering the price they are great for 10 euros if you have them available to you priced at 25 30 40 dollars i would rather shift towards the fabric castell because they are indeed a superior quality here you can see the dried results and you can see the AD stands for Albert Durer by Fiber Castell and the M stands for Mondelus and you can really see the Albert Durer are much much smoother in all of the tests and even that little thumbnail I just painted looks much more natural, it, mo it looks much more alive than the Kohinoor Mondelus pencils. You can see how they blend nicely into each other and create that depth and it looks much more realistic. Here are the comparisons side by side. Again, both of these cards will be available for download. And here comes my next problem with the Mondelus watercolor pencils. You can see that one I'm pointing at as the Cobalt Blue and it's rated at 1 star light fastness. Their light fast rating goes from 1 to 5 stars. So I expected it to last at least 10 years, 5 years, something of the sorts, but no, it faded within a year or two after application. And I'm going to show you what it looks fresh like right now as I paint with it compared to what it looks like one year afterwards. And if you're a beginner, this doesn't really apply to you, but if you're somebody who uses their art to make a book out of it, if you use your art to pay some of the bills, and there is nothing wrong with that, you want your product to last. Like, you don't want to paint a card, a painting, whatever, sell it, give it away, and then the person contacts you and says, hey, uh, this painting is defective, it faded away, did you use cheap art supplies, what happened? I cannot really uh, afford to have such a loss concerning I maintain myself through my art. So again, if you're just using these in coloring books to de-stress, to, I don't know, as a hobby, yes, absolutely, the Kohinoor are very good for the price, they're vibrant, they're saturated, but these are the negatives that made me pay a bit more and switch to the fabric castell. And here I'm just going to show you some of my favorite paintings that I have done with the Kohinoor Mondelus. Again, they are great. I loved using them. They do require a bit more practice, a bit more getting used to, like I said. Uh, you may find it easier to use a special brush, which I'm also going to link down below which makes it easier for them to apply. And here I'm going to show you something else. The fabric is still come with all of the information you need about the pencils already written on the pencils themselves. You have uh, the color name, you have the light fastness ring, you have everything. Whereas the Kohinoor Mondelus, even though they claim they're artist quality art supplies, you only get a four digit code. Now with that four digit code I managed to find uh, I don't know how many hundreds of pages of catalog of all of their art supplies and I found the section for the watercolor pencils with that code I matched it and then I wrote down the swatch card because they didn't give you any information right out of the box like the Faber-Castell. Another difference is with the 
on Faber-Castell, the actual pencils are physically bigger, thicker than the Mondelus. You get more color, more pigment out of them, uh, also in quantity. And from the Mondelus, again, they have various sets, like I already mentioned. I got the one which gives you a pencil sharpener and a tiny brush. I lost the sharpener, that's on me. It was a very great sharpener, it worked perfectly, but I lost it. And this is the brush you got out of the set. It's a number three liner brush. It's very tiny and you cannot do a proper painting with it. However, I love the quality. I love using it for ink, I love using it for wash, acrylics, and I actually went out of my way and I bought more of those brushes to use with wash and acrylics. And a con I found of the Faber-Castell, since the pencils are physically bigger than normal pencils, you need to buy a special sharpener that does not come cheap, it's almost seven bucks for the sharpener. I usually like to use the biggest hole in it to get a bit more of a blunt tip to save on the pencils and not waste them by constantly sharpening, but the tinier one also works. And my final thoughts are the reason I transitioned to the Faber-Castell is one, they are light fast, two, the formula is better, they apply smoother, they dry smoother, they blend into each other, they blend with water, they blend simultaneously. If you're a bit more serious about art overall, if you've already painted with a different medium and now you're going into something else, then the Faber-Castell are much higher quality and you get a lot of value for what you pay. I hope this made a sense and it's not as chaotic as it seems in my head. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters for the month of June and thank you all for watching. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask down in the comments and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye!